Hi everyone, welcome into the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex for the Acrisure Playbook. Now listen, it's not all doom and gloom. There's actually a lot of good things that are happening with this Steeler team, especially the offense. I know that might be the most doom and gloom, but there's a lot of positives. And it's not just Kenny Pickett. Jalen Warren, I know a lot of people start to hear about him, the kind of player he is. I wanna show you a couple of plays that make him truly a special player, and every down player, if you will. His ability to block and adjust. I think that's one of the most important things a runner has to do. Now, first of all, let's look at how they're gonna protect this as an offensive line. You know, they're sliding this way initially for the reason for that is because you got four defenders over here. Now, the tackle ends up sliding as well. I'm not so sure he's supposed to come back this way, which actually speaks really to Jalen's adjustment and how you got to be as a football player. There's going to be mistakes made up here at times. This guy right here has to make adjustments, and he does this right here. It's a great example of it. This is what I like about him as a football player, not just how he runs the football how he can adjust and make up. Now, let's talk about the fundamentals here. Okay, so this is same foot, same shoulder, rising blow, first contact wins. This guy right here outweigh, outweighs this guy by 100 pounds, at least. But when you play football right and you know how to play it, this is how you win football. That's a defensive end. This is a line of running back. Not the matchup you, that you like on your offense, but he helps from this quarterback taking a hit. Pickett doesn't take a big hit because he makes a great block and he adjusts beautifully. And I can't be more text perfect in how he goes about blocking. That ends up being one of the best plays he makes in the game. His quarterback doesn't take a hit. I know he ends up getting hit, but not a big hit like he would have gotten had Jalen not made that adjustment. Now this is where I think he is truly special as well. Got pressure, Pickett gets rid of it. Now the first thing he does, he's gotta make somebody miss, which he does that. Great job of making somebody miss. Now, I'm gonna tell you this, this guy doesn't really want anything to do with this guy because of his power. He has tremendous power. And watch this right here. This just gives you everything. I mean, <laughs> that is another same foot, same shoulder, rising blow, okay? Well, these guys see all that. They want nothing to do with that. He ends up getting a first down by breaking that tackle and finishing. Jalen's impact on the offense will be significant. But here's another area where he's gonna impact Najee Harris. I mean, Najee can leave the field now and you're still gonna get great production and that's gonna make his career a lot longer. And to have these two guys together, powerful one-two punch. All right, Kenny Pickett, how did he play? Let me tell you this, the one thing that I wanted to look for, he did it in college, you know, how well does he process things? Does he have composure in the pocket? Is he accurate? Well, all those things were on display. He did all of those things. I wanna show you one play in particular that really illustrates just how hard it is to really process things, and especially in man coverage. You know, when you got man coverage across the board, you know, you're gonna have people in tight coverage, you know, and that's not just your wide receivers you're gonna be looking for, you know. You got other bodies, you know, these, these defenders are gonna be a part of this process. So I wanna snap the ball, and I want you to see what I'm talking about processing. You know, this happens very quickly. Now, I understand that uh, Pickens does a great job right here. You know, he pushes him down, but he's not to the top of his route till about here. So that's why, you know, Pickett doesn't throw it to him right away. Well, let's go through now all the things that he's seeing and trying to process. You got all of these guys running man routes. Okay, then you got the bodies of the, the defenders. I mean, it's a lot to process as a quarterback and to see. Take it one step further, right there. I mean, does anybody look particularly open? I know that, uh, Pickens is. Now he's going to get to the top of his route, but I think this pass rush pressure here, the wall there takes his vision away here. So he doesn't see him. That's why he moves on, which I like that. He doesn't get stuck. When he gets stuck, that's when you get in trouble. Now, even this right here is a lot to process. There's a lot of bodies there, but he stays composed in the pocket, which I love. He doesn't get flustered, even though it's becoming dirty, but that's part of the NFL. It's how the NFL plays. And you got to be used to that. Very few guys early in their career play well in that. They want to run. Well, not him. He gets rid of it, finds a, finds a gentry, the tight end, and that's a first down on a third down. Now, this one we might, well, might as well get used to. Pick it to Pickens. Okay, you got uh, Pickens down here. You got the safety already playing to this side. He knows that from a pre-snap read. All right, well, this is a great job by a young guy of understanding the matchup understanding the talent that he has here, and he takes advantage of it. He sees it right off the bat, there's no hesitation, there's no worry, just lets it go. 
And he puts the ball where, yes, is that a 50-50 ball? Well, with Pickens, I call that a 90-10 ball because he's going to win 90% of them. That's exactly what he does there. And this relationship is going to get bigger and bigger. So when you look at Pickett and how he played, really from an overall aspect of a rookie, looking how he played from the pocket, his processing, how he handled all the pressure, and to throw it 55 times, absolutely incredible. All these are positive things for the offense. They keep building on this, get the offensive line rolling. A few more phases to this offense, they're going to be a much better football team.